Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to fix that type of error message if you have got uh, select list causing me uh, to a uh, get a null value right there. So here we have a student controller and you can see that here we have a degree program that is all degree programs and you can see that uh, in the degree program we have I enumerable type of degree program like degree program. Okay, so uh, that is uh, and after that we have to bind view, uh, degree programs on the view back that is degree program object new select list degree program degree program id okay so uh, that is the degree program id and the name property in the model you can see uh, here we have a uh, where is the degree program like that degree program have a degree program id and the name property okay so everything is fine but uh, notice that uh, when we um, just hitting uh, just press the uh, debug point right here and just start this uh, this student registration dot UI project and you can see that here we have some values getting this values the uh, that is the uh, we have some values in the controller section but in the view section just I'm getting getting that error like this student and just click on the create new button And you can notice that here we have just a uh, debug point is right there and just click on it and just call it here we have a degree program that is count one so here we have a degree program like that btec and null uh, one and btec okay so in the view bag just you can see that uh, here we have a view bag object that is degree program and here we have a data group field is null but the data text field is the name and the data program id items is one okay so asp items is count with the one and in the create.cshtml you can see that here we have a select list asp4 that is the degree program id and asp items that is view back dot degree program object that is the same name of your uh, that is your view back name Okay, so you can see that the class and the one option is right there that is select a department. Okay, so everything is fine. Now, just you can just click on the continue button and you will see that object reference not set to instance and object. So you notice that here we have a ASP items is an object reference not set of instance object error. But if you notice that in the view bag, actually, wrap up around the uh, view data so here we have a view data but in the view data we have there some uh, count is true and the key is value that is the degree program object and you notice that but the degree program object have nothing to there in in this uh, file okay so uh, that is the count value that is the value of that uh, asp select list item that is the select list and you notice that here we have a degree program id and the items is one and that is the zero and that is the one and the b tag so everything is fine but a written that is the object reference not set then so instance and object error like that so what should i do for this types of things if you if you want to uh, use uh, like uh, conversion that is the degree program object is the type of the select list. So you can say that it's a type of select list. Just you can just uh, define that this is the type of the select list, but uh, the same error will pass it here. And you will say that, wait for some times and I will resolve these types of error message and you can do this if you got that same type of error message. So just select the student first of all. Okay, just create the new button that is the ID property. So just continue and the same error. So how to fix these types of error message? So there is a no need actually uh, to bind this types of view back in the ASP items. Okay, so just save this and in the controller section you have just command this section uh, degree program ID 
just you can use a view bag and just type command section. So here we have a view bag dot degree program object and just assign that all degree programs get all degree programs. So here we have a view bag. Here we have a list of the items. Okay. So notice that all degree programs have a degree program object instead of the select list. So just use and just on the create section here we have a options and now after that we can use for each loop. So here we have a for each loop and the collection is view bag at the red view bag dot and the what is the program that is the degree program object okay so here we have a, a item in view bag dot degree program object as and what that is the i uh, i enumerable of i enumerable of degree program Okay, so here we have as a enumerable type of degree program. So in the options, just you can use just copy and paste it here and remove all the part from here. And you can use value at the red item dot that is the degree program ID and the select value is at the red item dot name okay so save this value and just you can use it here and you can see that your uh, just view back dot degree program object uh, is is the type of the strongly program it is type of strongly type so just resolve your problem Just create new okay and here you can see that there is the tag so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and you can see that here is the output